on the way to the hotel. And it's funny how I planned out to hit up the Gapyong or the Gunchong. There's two rail bikes here, and I actually might hit the Gachong one. I think that's how it's named. I'll write down the name in the doobly-doo or whatever right below here if it's wrong. But uh, literally within five minutes of Nami Island, I just drove by. Apparently there's a camera up ahead. That's what that beeping is. Anyhow, so it's I just drove by the Gapyong uh, rail bike. It's... The last time I was here was last Saturday. I literally did a U-turn right here at this stoplight that I'm going to in order to get to the, the part where we got on the bikes. It's so crazy. Just random note. It's uh, anyone who's planning on coming to, to Nami Island, you could do the Petite France, Nami Island, and the Gapyong rail bike if you time it out right if you get here early enough because you remember everything opens at a certain time so petite france opens at nine so if you get there at nine leave at 11 go to the nami island or vice versa you can go do the gapyong rail bike get that just nail that out of the way it's like a 45 minute ride maybe an hour and a half you know and then go to to nami island for for lunch and then you'd probably be leaving at about the same time as I am right now. So, that's, uh, yeah, that's a crazy, crazy thing to see how close everything was. Anyhow, I'm uh, half an hour out from where the hotel is, so. 600 meters ahead, 80 kilometer per hour mobile speed camera. Thank you. There's a mobile speed camera ahead. And, uh, anyhow, uh, I'm going to continue driving, and I'll uh, check back in a moment. Good afternoon, and I am sitting in my hotel room in Chincheon. I have to say, I am very impressed with this city. It is fantastic. Like, it's like Seoul. That's what it reminds me of as I'm like driving around. I was quite shocked to see what everything looked like. I was also quite shocked to kind of figure out where I was. So I'm actually right next to City Hall and this hotel is quite fancy. Let's go ahead and do a room tour real quick here. I'll start from the outside so let's go ahead and get going. The There was this crazy story that I, I'm gonna tell you in a second about the landlady and how she like kind of helped me out here. So... So it's a regular kind of lock. Although, I don't know if it actually locks me out or not. So I actually left the key in there and I didn't, <laughs> I didn't dare to close it because I didn't want to get locked out of my own room. I've already had enough trouble as it is. And then to the right immediately or left immediately is the bathroom with a pretty nice toilet. And there's your sink combo. This one actually has a nice um, shower head as well as kind of like the rain shower head and a bathtub, which is kind of nice. Still is a wet room though, therefore they provide you the slippers. I'm actually standing in a vestibule. So you actually, this door was closed when I came in and I'm, I opened, or, well, the landlady opened it, and I'll talk about that in just a second here. We have an air purifier, two uh, robes. That is a uh, wallpaper right there. There's no actual door or anything there. It just looks like it. And then we have a little couch with a little table. And then we have the nightstand. A queen size bed. It's definitely a big bed. And then the heater, I was just told how to use that it automatically turns off after uh, it reaches a certain temp in the room. So it turns off and on on its own. And then we have the AC unit, the big screen TV, which maybe I'll plug into later on. Um, we have a provided computer, which I think that's just crazy. Um, there is free Wi-Fi in here, though. So 
there's the Wi-Fi box. You just need to connect to it. And, um, I already did with my phone. And there's no password, so it's kind of up to you how you want to use it. And then there's water in the fridge here. That's free. I don't know about the juice, but the two water bottles right there are free. Um, and I don't know if this is like understood that I'll be leaving and coming back or so I don't know what the what the situation is but I'm gonna try to leave my suitcase here tomorrow when I go out and see what happens but let's uh let's get back into what I was talking about <laughs> all right so first things first I was looking for a parking area and they have this little thing on the side of the building in which you could park at. So I took advantage of that. I actually parked there. I'm not 100% sure if I'm allowed to park there though. And they asked me for my key so that they could hang on to it in case the guy that I blocked in needs to get out. Secondly, it's interesting that when I got in, there was no one that could speak English here, which I mean, again, it's Korea, so that's okay. I'm kind of used to having hotels that speak English though. And as you saw from the room, it's not too shabby. It's not the highest end hotel, but the fact that no one spoke English, that was like pretty crazy. And sorry about the like light going up and down. I'm using the TV as a, uh, <laughs> as a bounce. So it just changes to like pure white every now and then. But the person there, she was really helpful. Like she was really trying to get me like situated in here. And what's funny is, is she just handed me the key in the end because another customer came in. And so she quickly like pushed me aside and I'm like, okay, I came up here because it's 503. And I could tell it's just gonna be on the fifth floor, third room, right? As I'm walking into the room, the lady all of a sudden just comes like screaming over, like she follows me and she starts showing me all over the room. And I'll be right back. Just give me one second. <laughs> and I'm back. It is getting warm in here. The lady said it was going to take seven minutes for the room to warm up because the floor heater was going to kick in. And yeah, it's it's kicked in. It's, it's getting warm. But I'm going to go out to get dinner here pretty soon. But let me go ahead and just finish the story. So the lady comes up and like chases into like my room. And she came over and, and was like, okay, let me show you how to use everything. She showed me how to use the radiator so I could have extra heat in the room if I want it, which I totally don't. How to use the TV, like changing channels and all that. And it is a real big screen TV, so I might actually hook up the laptop to it and watch something on there later. I mean, they also have a monitor here, so I could actually hook up my work laptop to it and actually have like two monitors that'd be kind of cool i'll be working off of vpn so an open network's no problem it was uh really interesting and then she she tried to like speak to me as best she could using i think it was google translate actually out of all things like i, I used papa go but she wanted to use google translate and i was okay with that and then the person who speaks english apparently that works here he's on a business trip today so he's not actually here today and that's why she couldn't really check me in and the problem is is that she has a lot of chinese and americans coming in and uh she doesn't speak either language so she's like having she's struggling ironically as I said before, when she like pushed me out of the way, she was actually helping another Korean lady that was coming in. And so that's like, it, I think she, it was just like easy to get all that done. So she just wanted to get that done before helping me. And then when she came up to help me and she did all that stuff and showed me everything, the main thing that I got from it was the fact that she needed my name in it, its entirety so that she could mark that I've checked in. And so I'm kind of wondering like how many times this process is gonna happen to me. Cause I do have a couple of hotels in the Southern areas where I'm wondering, cause the Airbnb should be pretty easy. It's either a self check-in, which you just hit the button on the app, or it's gonna be one of those check-ins where it's simply you go in and the person's already waiting there for you and then they'll they'll take care of everything for you so yeah but i'm getting peckish now i think dinner is sounding pretty good i'm thinking i'm gonna go try to hit the observatory and grab cafe up there and i'll probably just eat something at the cafe like a sandwich or something and then turn around and come back it's gonna be a real quick trip out. I don't think I'm gonna be doing too much. The the traveling that I did today was just too hefty and so I wanna make sure that everything is good to go. So yeah, so I'll go out, grab a quick bite, 
and then come back and, and finish my work like I was doing earlier and probably call it a night after that. Cool. That was the uh, check-in experience here at World Hotel in Chinchon. <laughs> she really tried though. It was, it was adorable. She's, she's like, she's someone's grandma and she's definitely giving it her best shot. Kudos to her for covering whoever her, it's like the person was who runs the place. So anyhow, I'll uh, see you in the next video.